All right, so I've been informed I've been holding the um, device the wrong way. So apologies for my previous videos. Let's do um, also a replacement on this 530 diesel, I believe. You just want to remove the engine cover, which is right here. So that's just grommets. That plucks off. Back of the engine, that's what you're looking for. There's your oil filter housing. Also tells you um, the newton meters on how tight it should be. This one is saying 25 newton meters. Okay, you'll need a 32 millimeter socket, something that's gonna look like this. And that should sit on that snugly. This one's a 3.8, you can get it in either size. Then you wanna get a 3.8 ratchet with an extension of some sort. Obviously, you're gonna go anti-clockwise. I may need two hands, bear with me. So sometimes they can be a little tight, so you wanna um, use two hands, put pressure on the head of the ratchet and then obviously get yourself a good angle and then you're going to go anti-clockwise to remove it so you want to run that out that's what you got so you might want to give it a second or two let's let the um, residue and the oil drain and whatnot and then let's wiggle it out of its um, place try not to um, spill the oil and you want to use you probably want to put it in a little catch tray or a catch pan of some sort so then what you want to do next you want to get um, a small flathead pry tool of some sort um, well actually you're not going to do that after let's give this a little wiggle quite firmly and you want to pluck the cartridge out of the um, housing not sure why this is zoomed in so much. Sorry, give me a second. Let me try and reposition this device. Yeah, so as I said, um, give this, pluck this out. Got firm hands. Let's give it a bit of a wiggle. Pluck that out. It's your old cartridge. I'm going to get rid of that. Little flathead, pry tool of some sort. You just want to remove the gasket seal. Just get underneath it. Um, ensure you remember where it sits. Usually it's the bottom rung. Don't get it confused with the threads. And obviously, um, your new cartridge will be reverse of removal, as would be your um, you'll, you'll know when it's in. You'll have that nice little noise and feeling, and you want to put your O-ring back onto. Um, where you removed it. I've got my um, trusty. I like to, um, this is what I do. It just takes away any dirt and previous residue and stuff in like the threads or the lining. And on top of that, um, you don't want to put the O-ring back into its seat dry anyway. If you can get a little splash of oil possibly, a little maintenance spray or the like. Maintenance spray is probably not the best because it dries to be fair. But if you want to um, just get a little splash of oil and then run that back into its place. Like I say, ensure that it's seated and goes back into the place where it was. A little splash of oil on the O-ring and you can't go wrong. And it's pretty much reverse of removal. Run that back in its place. Make sure it's seated clockwise first before you um, use any tools. But once you know it's in, it's getting a little tight with your hand. And obviously, run it in with the ratchet. I may need to put my device down and do this with two hands. Other than that, Oh, that's helpful. 25 newton meters, yeah?